Lawsuit claims the Heisman Trophy can't be displayed online without consent. The Heisman Trophy Trust, which celebrates the greatest college quarterback or running back each year, has filed a lawsuit against podcasters who operate the Heisman Watch website. The Heisman Trophy is one of the most prestigious awards, etc. The trophy itself is an original sculptural work entitled to copyright protection. And as owners of Heisman copyright, the trust has the exclusive rights to the copyright. Let's see what their complaint has to say. Plaintiff brings this action under the Copyright Act for, among other things, willful infringement, as well as the Lanham Act, which is trademark. The Heisman Trophy Award is one of the most distinguished, prestigious, and recognized awards in all of sports, and perhaps the most famous of all individual awards in football. From its first presentation over eight decades ago, through the present, the Heisman Trophy Award has captured the attention of millions of sports fans. Each presentation of the Heisman Trophy Award is preceded by extended anticipation and fanfare, including media coverage in the nation's leading newspapers, magazines, radio talk shows, and on national television networks. Beginning in 1935, the Heisman Trophy Award has been presented each and every year. Today, each December, when the Heisman Trophy Award is presented on the ESPN television network, millions of viewers watch as the winner is announced. This exposure, year after year, has resulted in consumers recognizing the Heisman Trophy Award as emanating from a single source, the Heisman Trust. The Trust is the exclusive copyright owner. The Trust owns that copyright, the Heisman copyright. The trademark is a bunch of them. The, trademark, the, the trophy design, the memorial trophy design, redesign, another design, another mark design, etc. The trust has acquired common law trademark rights, etc. The trust licenses third parties to use the Heisman marks and Heisman copyright. For example, the trust has maintained a long-standing licensing relationship with Nissan, ESPN, Wendy's, Collegiate Licensing Company, IMG. These authorized licensees use the Heisman marks and copyrights in a number of different fashions such as association with being an official sponsor connection with a television show, connection with Heisman watch that appears on ESPN, in different types of apparel, Wendy's school Heisman award. All of these uses in combination with the trust's own direct uses have resulted in tremendous exposure. The trust is a 501c3, licensing is approximately $26 million over the course of five years. 2017 has seen at least $2 million in donations to worthwhile charities. The race culminates each year with a gathering of award candidates, etc. The trust owns domain names Heisman.com, HeismanTrophy.com, Heisman Memorial Trophy, and Heisman.TeamFanshop.com. HeismanWatch.com. Upon information and belief, it's a website owned and operated by the defendants purports to offer information on the Heisman Trophy Award. Defendants offer a podcast entitled Heisman Watch Podcast, which is made available for consumers to download. Upon information and belief, defendants also own numerous social media accounts, Heisman Watch on Facebook, Heismanology One on Twitter, Heisman Watch on Google+, Pinterest, Heisman Watch, and Heisman Watch social media accounts. These are all collectively the Heisman Watch social media accounts. Defendants registered the Heisman Watch website domain, launched the podcast with full knowledge of the trust's ownership of the famous Heisman mark. The website, podcast, and social media accounts are currently unauthorized, unlawful, infringing uses of the Heisman copyright. The Heisman Watch website, the Heisman Watch podcast, and the social media accounts prominently feature names, words, marks, and images that are identical or confusingly similar to the Heisman marks, both historically and concurrently. Copies of the current HeismanWatch.com website are attached as Exhibit I. Archival copies are available. Upon information and belief, using the marks began January 9, 2014. Based on the prominence with which the Heisman marks and Heisman copyright were and are displayed, defendants unauthorized use of the Heisman marks in connection with HeismanWatch.com website, etc., capitalize on the fame and notoriety of the Heisman mark and Heisman copyright. In doing so, defendants' uses are likely to confuse and deceive, etc., um, well, this it's pretty much going to sound like this throughout the rest of this thing. So let's just 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 shoot the engineer. Let's just shoot the engineer and start production, and we'll um, and we'll go straight to Heisman Watch website. Heisman Watch, home of the Heisman calendar calculator. Excuse me. 
Now take, let's take a look at this logo up here, Heisman Watch, and then let's try to find the actual Heisman Trophy website. Or wasn't it like, wasn't it HeismanTrophy.com? It's just Heisman. Okay, so I don't see their website using this mark. Now I haven't reviewed the archived website, so it's 100% possible that they changed the website in response to the lawsuit. But this is the actual Heisman Trophy website, and this is the unofficial Heisman Watch website. I don't see any 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 actual use of the pictorial mark. Of course, they've used the word Heisman. But here's a question for you, lawful masses: Are you allowed to use someone else's trademark? Well, there is something called trademark fair use. And this might be it. Like you might, this this example that we're seeing here might be it. We normally have something called nominative fair use, which means you can reference a mark to identify the actual goods and services of the trademark holder. Is there anything on Heisman Watch here that makes you think, and, and it has to reach a confusingly similar standard, but let's just start with makes you think at all, that these guys are from the Heisman Trophy organization, or instead, are they referring to the actual Heisman Trophy organization here? If they're using the trademark Heisman to refer to the Heisman Trophy Trust, then they are using it as a fair use, as a nominative fair use. They can also be using it as a descriptive fair use. This is more like saying something is honeycomb shaped if honeycomb was a, a trademark uh, on, uh, on a humidifier or something. Uh, that's the example that, that Wikipedia is giving here. But this is the official Heisman Trophy page. And you can see that, that Heisman Watch has now changed this to say is no way it's affiliated with Heisman Trophy Trust. Again, I didn't see an archived version. I do not know yet if this is a if this is a changed version or if this is what it looked like before. But this does seem to me in no way to be infringing upon their fair use or copyrights. We'll, we'll see. I'm not saying that there's not a case. I'm just saying I don't see it yet. The complaint here is somewhat fairly generic. It basically says you've used them. It does not say specifically how. But we are also in a complaint here, which means we're on the pleading standard. And the pleading standard is the well-pled complaint standard, which means you just have to put your opponent on notice of what you're accusing them of. And this is enough to put them on notice. So this, though, I'm not sure if this will survive a motion to dismiss. Now, they are accusing them of cyber squatting by using Heisman Watch. That's really interesting because Heisman Watch is, or excuse me, um, cyber squatting is usually when you buy a domain name and you don't use it, and they are obviously using the domain name. So that's interesting. We will follow up with that and see what in the world goes on with that. I, I would hope that the Heisman Watch people are able to get a decent attorney to defend them. If it being a fan-based thing, sometimes these are strategic lawsuits against public participation. In other words, Heisman might have the money being that they had $26 million in donations over the last five years, they might have the money to go after a fan-based podcast. That probably doesn't make much money at all. So, however, the prevailing party in this litigation would very likely get their fees and costs back. So some enterprising attorney may want to represent them and charge them their hours, but maybe not collect the money until after the case is over and, and, and get them their money back. Or vice versa, it's also very smart to collect your money and then the client has the risk, but then the client might not be as motivated to defend themselves. So hopefully they get a chance to defend themselves is what I'm getting at. Now for trademark, there is the standard that if you don't defend it, that you can, can lose it or diminish your trademark. So is there a chance that they are filing this lawsuit to show how vigorously they're trying to defend their trademark? I don't think so. I don't think it's necessary to defend your trademark at this level in order to meet this standard for not having it diluted or genericited. Unless they genuinely believe that this is an infringement that they do need to defend. Well, it could be. I'm not, I, I again, um, let me actually see if I can go back over to the Heisman complaint here. But the exhibits might show us, you know, hey, look, the website used to look just like ours or... 
Uh, they go around taking detailed photographs of the Heisman Trophy and then displaying the, the you know galleries of Heisman Trophy photographs. And they're not allowed to do that. These photographs weren't taken legally or whatever. They weren't taken in a public place or what. You know what I mean? So it, 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 they may be violating some kind of copyright law, but so far it does not look like that. So far it looks like the Heisman Trophy Trust is being a little bit overzealous. And they may have to pay for that if they if, if it's properly defended. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, everyone. That is our show. Thank you for joining me. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. Our primary support system is through patreon.com slash ljfrench. A big thank you to the following October supporters. At the $50 level, Jonathan Doe, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Andy, Kyle Mudrock, Vera Mantain, Sean McNamara, William Gonzalez, Michael Pierce, Grunkle TMRE, Terry Crisp, Richard Fournier, Michael Jones, Spirit Fair, and Jan Negrey. Thank you very much for your support. And thank you to the 200 plus $5 plus supporters who are scrolling on the LED panel behind me and will be on the crawl of the VOD. Thank you very much for joining me. So love you all. Have a good one. Bye. The Fennis registered the Heisman Watch website domain, launched the podcast, and etc. with full knowledge, knowledge with full knowledge. Wow.